set up Weld Nugget is characterized by a depth penetration of between 20% and 80%. Its width is characterized as being as wide as the weld tip on the thin metal side. Weld Nuggets are inspected for strength and quality. The most common Weld Nugget problems are an undersized weld. A setup Weld Nugget is characterized by a depth penetration of between 20% and 80%. Its width is characterized as being as wide as the weld tip on the thin metal side. Weld nuggets are inspected for strength and quality. The most common weld nugget problems are an undersized weld, a stick weld, no weld, excessive indentation, and porosity. Now click on one of these weld nugget problems for a detailed explanation. Click on the exit button when you want to return to the knowledge system. An undersized weld nugget is not as wide as a good weld nugget, nor does it have the required depth penetration. Undersized welds are often caused by weld tips that are too large, excessive weld tip force, low weld current, or not enough weld cycles. The size of the weld tips determines the size of the weld area. The amount of current flowing through the weld area is referred to as current concentration. When weld tips are the correct size, the current concentration will generate enough heat to create a good weld nugget. When weld tips are too large, the size of the weld area increases, which decreases the current concentration. Any decrease in current concentration reduces the heat at the part interface, so not enough metal will be melted and you will get an undersized weld nugget. The metal stack up is pressed together by the weld tips. The part interface resistance and weld tip interface resistance decrease as the metal is pressed tighter together. If the weld tip force is too high, the part interface resistance will decrease too much. As weld current flows through the smaller resistance, not enough heat will be generated at the part interface to melt enough metal to form a good weld, and you will get an undersized weld nugget. When weld current flows through the metal stack up, heat is generated by the part interface resistance and the weld tip interface resistance. If the weld current is too low, not enough heat will be generated at the part interface to melt enough metal to form a good weld, and you will get an undersized weld nugget. Weld time is the number of cycles that weld current flows. If the weld time is too short, the weld current will not have the time to generate enough heat at the part interface to melt enough metal to form a good weld, and you'll get an undersized weld nugget. A stick weld is when the pieces of metal are held together only by the melted surface coating of the metal. This will only occur when using coated metals. Stick welds are often caused by weld tips that are too large, low weld current, or short weld time. The size of the weld tips determines the size of the weld area. The amount of current flowing through the weld area is referred to as current concentration. When weld tips are the correct size, the current concentration will generate enough heat to create a good weld nugget. When weld tips are too large, the size of the weld area increases, which decreases the current concentration. Any decrease in current concentration reduces the heat at the part interface, so only the surface coating melts, and you will get a stick weld. When weld current flows through the metal stack up, heat is generated by the part interface resistance and the weld tip interface resistance. If the weld current is too low, the heat generated at the part interface will only be enough to melt the surface coating, and you will get a stick weld. Weld time is the number of cycles that weld current flows. If the weld time is too short, the weld current will only have the time to generate enough heat to melt the surface coating, and you'll get a stick weld. A no weld is when no weld nugget has formed. No welds are often caused by weld tips that are too large, low weld current, or short weld time. The size of the weld tips determines the size of the weld area. The amount of current flowing through the weld area is referred to as current concentration. When weld tips are the correct size, the current concentration will generate enough heat 
can create a good weld nugget. When weld tips are too large, the size of the weld area increases, which decreases the current concentration. Any decrease in current concentration reduces the heat at the part interface, and no metal is melted. When weld current flows to the metal stack up, heat is generated by the part interface resistance and the weld tip interface resistance. If the weld current is too low, not enough heat will be generated at the part interface to melt any metal. Weld time is the number of cycles that weld current flows. If the weld time is too short, the weld current will not have the time to generate enough heat at the part interface to melt any metal. Excessive indentation is when the weld tips sink deep into the metal. The maximum amount of weld tip penetration into the metal is 30% of the metal thickness. Excessive indentation is often caused by low weld tip force, high weld current, long weld time, short squeeze time, insufficient weld tip cooling, or long hold time. The metal stack up is pressed together by the weld tips. The part interface resistance and weld tip interface resistance decrease as the metal is pressed tighter together. If the weld tip force is too low, the metal will not be pressed tight enough together and the weld tip interface resistance will be too high. As weld current flows through the larger resistance, too much heat will be generated at the surface. The weld tip interface will melt and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal, creating excessive indentation. Weld current is used to generate heat. When weld current flows through the metal stack up, heat is generated by the part interface resistance and the weld tip interface resistance. If the weld current is too high, too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface. The weld tip interface will melt and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal, creating excessive indentation. Weld time is the number of cycles that weld current flows. If the weld time is too long, the weld current continues to heat up the metal and too much heat will be generated at the weld tip interface. The weld tip interface will melt and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal, creating excessive indentation. Squeeze time is used to make sure that the weld gun is fully closed and gives the weld gun time to reach full weld tip force. If the squeeze time is too short, full weld tip force will not be reached. The metal will not be pressed tight enough together and the weld tip interface resistance will be too high. As weld current flows to the larger resistance, too much heat will be generated at the surface. The weld tip interface will melt, and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal, creating excessive indentation. Weld tips are cooled to draw heat away from the weld tip interface during welding. If the weld tips are not properly cooled, too much heat will be generated at the surface. The weld tip interface will melt, and the weld tips will sink deep into the metal, creating excessive indentation. Hold time is how long the weld tips remain in contact with the metal after current stops flowing. If the hold time is too long, the weld tips continue to sink into the metal, creating excessive indentation. Porosity is when gas bubbles are trapped in the weld nugget. Porosity is often caused by weld tips that are concave, incorrectly machined, or have ridges around the diameter of the tip surface. When weld tip force is applied, the edge of the weld tip presses the metal and air is trapped in the weld area. The part interface will melt and a weld nugget will form. As the molten metal cools, the trapped air creates pockets in the weld nugget. 